Hey, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly reading for the 26th of February to March 4th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what you can expect this week. All right. We are in the depths of Pisces energy, your fellow sister water sign. And so you may find yourself being more intuitive and feeling more psychic than you typically do. And the reason for this is because the water energy that's occurring in the cosmos right now, where the planets are, etc., is supporting you and helping you in tuning in to your intuition, your psychic abilities in a, in a deeper level, if that makes sense. It's almost like what I'm picking up, and we'll pull the rest of the cards in just a minute. What I'm picking up is almost like, How do I explain this to you in a, in a quick, easy way? It's like if somebody was to um, present to you an idea, a story, a narrative, and maybe originally or typically you would look at it and be like, mm, that sounds like that, that might be true. And then you like over time kind of evaluate assess and determine and decide whether or not there is validity in this claim or what is presented to you at this time right now, you can smell the BS, you can taste it, you can see it. Like nobody can pull the wool over your eyes, essentially at this time, cancer. And maybe before or typically, um, there is a period of unknowing before the revelation comes to you before your intuition kicks in or before your psychic abilities confirm whether or not what is being said to you is truthful and um, of, uh, you know, in this, in its highest good, right? Like if it's something is truth and honest and, uh, it, you know, operates from integrity. Now at this time, if somebody tries to like pull a fast one on you, immediate, like immediate, you might even feel like repulsion where your whole body, you're like, no, it's a, it's a no. Like, you know, right away, it's actually a very assertive energy, an assertive knowing one, two, three, four, five. And Raven jumping in as soon as I said that. Hello, ma'am. You coming in? Are you going to do some readings with me? Hey, what's up? It's for cancer. Yeah, it's so it's you just you just know, you always just know. But now during this period of time until uh, Pisces season wraps up and the planets move out of Pisces, you're going to like, no, no, you're going to know. So no much. So <laughs> it didn't even make any sense. You're just going to know. Raven, what were you eating? I want to know what she was eating because she's that girl's licking her lips like she just had the most delicious meal of her life. Ma'am, you can't eat that. Okay, empathetic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. See what I mean? Like you are Scorpio. You just, you're so psychic right now. It's actually crazy. Like anybody who tries to mess with you or pull a fast one on you or do anything unethical or that lacks integrity at this time. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Like it's like, it's like you figured out how to put a blockage or a wall, like whatever it is, but you are like, I'm not, this is not mine. This is not truth. This is not, I'm not going to even absorb it. I'm not even going to touch it. Scorpio here with Pluto. This is very transformative for you. This is very deep. This is very introspective and even psychological. I think it's, I think this period of time, especially this week, you're going to really start reflecting and looking back on all the times where you wanted to believe the best in people. You wanted to feel like they weren't being dishonest with you because nobody, especially not water signs, especially not cancer, wants to think that somebody is bad or has bad intentions. Sadly, sadly, the fact is that a lot of people do have really shitty intentions. And this is a time where you're like, oh my God, now 
I can see clearly now. With imagination here, I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my life. You, this, this window of time for you, specifically this week, is also going to offer you a lot of insight and downloads on how to progress and proceed and move forward for your desires, for whatever you are seeking to call into your life. We start off with the five of pentacles. So this energy of feeling out, feeling isolated, uh, feeling maybe poor or being poor or scarcity mindset or financial struggles, financial difficulties, loss, et cetera, of stability. All of that is purging. It's being released. It's being removed from your life with the ace of pentacles here showing up to replace it, which means that the universe is giving you a new opportunity here, a solid, stable, new, secure opportunity, which quite frankly is going to be very life-changing here with the star and the wheel of fortune beside it. Like this right here is a combination to usher in immense transformation in your life that is not only positive, but also life changing. You know, we can transform in aspects of our life that yes, are life changing, but they're not drastic, right? They're not drastic. This, when I see this in my mind's eye, this is drastic. Okay, this is like you come back to me and you're like, Charlene, what the heck did I just go through? Because holy bejeebies, the future not only is looking so bright here, but you are also feeling this invigoration, this excitement, choosing to walk away from everything that is not serving you for your highest good and focusing on planting the seeds, the intentions of what you seek to manifest into your life. Now, I taught this to my students in the Money Magnet Workshop. I'm going to teach you really quickly here. And if you want to sign up to the full workshop, you can. It's in the description box below. You can sign up and you'll get first access to when the pre-recording um, course goes live. In order for, and this falls through with, uh, or falls in line with the uh, law of attraction. In order for anything that you desire to come to fruition in your life, Cancer, you have to drop it into your subconscious and you have to be so committed to this being your reality that it's a non-negotiable, that you go to the universe like, this is what I want, this is what I'm attracting, this is what I'm seeking, and make it happen. Period, hard stop. There's no conversation, there's no dilly-dallying, there's no place for it to even not be or become your reality. And that's what's happening here in your life. You are recognizing and realizing that you are dropping these ideas, these manifestations, th these desires into your subconscious mind. And that is what is leading you towards this life-changing experience. Like I said, these changes that are happening for you are very drastic. And sometimes, you know, you might even feel, and I think we talked about it in your monthly reading. You can go check that out right here at the end of this video. I'll pop it up for you. Uh, sometimes it might even feel like it's a roller coaster ride, right? Like up, down, left, right, inside out. And you're just like, oh my God, Charlene, what the heck? What the heck is happening? And, you know, if you and I were sitting down having a chit chat together, you'd be like, I don't even understand. Like, why are all these things you know, whipping around and like, why are all these changes happening? And I'm exhausted and like, da, 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 you know, and it feels like a lot. And basically at this time, source is saying, you got to, instead of trying to fight the wave of, of what's happening in your life, ride the wave because you're going, your destination, woo, your destination is exactly what you, what you are seeking. So stop trying to Fight it. Stop trying to feel like it's you against the world and sit in it and own it, right? Um, maybe for a long time you were taught to, um, you know, to be on the defensive and now it's not serving you anymore. Sources going, babe, you got to shift transformation all day, every day. Justice, make the effort. For some of you, this is your love life. This is a uh, page of wands, your religious factors, keep an open mind, page of pentacles, and make the effort justice. This could be a, your love life for a lot of you, where you are transforming your love life, where you're walking away from a relationship that's not serving you anymore, where you're recognizing and realizing that you deserve this time to heal, this time to be creative and sit in your receptive, psychic, intuitive energy even your amulet is all about that. It's Aphrodite, babe. Connect to the energy of Aphrodite. Ask her for guidance and support. I love working with her. You can see my little altar there for her. She will show you the way. She will show you the way, especially if you want to attract healthy, romantic love. People who buy this amulet end up getting married within like a year and a half, two years. It's actually crazy how much success that amulet has had. All right. In terms of, I mean, I'm not surprised, but the stories I hear from women 
I'm like, whoa, you all, that is just some crazy next level stuff. That's how powerful the energy of Aphrodite, self-love, creativity, and receptivity really is. Here is your monthly reading. Like I said, if you want to book a session with me, work together with me, join my Money Magnet workshop or any of my other courses, including picking up the amulet or signing up to my free newsletter, all that stuff's in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.